that again. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to this little CCB video blog. This is another Throwback Thursday. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the bladed jig. See, a lot of people don't know, but the bladed jig is a really, really good wintertime bait. Actually, most pros prefer to throw it in colder water. Now, I've had great success. I had a show in January in 49 degree water, and I caught 23 really nice bass. And since I started fishing it a lot, I started thinking about just, I don't know, since I like it in the winter, sort of a wintertime technique for it that's a little bit different than how most people fish it. And when I first got introduced to the bladed jig, it was when I was doing the FLW tournaments at the Delta. And there was this really unique technique they were using on the hydrilla with the bladed jig. So that's sort of kind of where I got the idea for this technique. And this technique kind of combines some different things that are, I don't know, techniques that are good in winter, but applying it to the bladed jig. And I did this video, I think this is 11 years ago. It is another throw throwback. Yeah, here we go. A really good technique that I think will help you catch a lot more winter bass. Hello and welcome to this edition of Chips and Tricks. Now, today I'm going to be talking about rip stopping a chatterbait now chatterbait is pretty much uh, a modified jig uh, it's a jig that has a blade on it so you could swim it through the water column and give it uh, some vibration and actually a, a different action than just swimming a jig through the water without the blade in front of it and i got a couple of them i started fishing them and i'm like wow this is really good i like the feel of it i like the action it gives it but I kind of decided, how can I combine the fact that jigs are usually really good on the bottom and the fact that it has this blade on it that also gives it a really good action in the water column. And so I came up with uh, rip stopping a chatterbait. And the technique is pretty much jerking on the bottom. Cast it out, let it hit the bottom. And then work it in like you would a jerkbait and then stop, good five, 10 seconds, and then work it in like you would a jerk bait, and then let it stop. And then obviously do that process all the way back to the boat. But what it does is it very much mimics how crawdads react on the bottom when they're spooked by something. Uh, they will shoot along for two or three feet and then they'll stop. And then they'll shoot along for two or three feet and they'll stop. And usually when they stop, they will sit and they put their claws up. And well, I'm using white right now. Uh, I would usually use something that's crawdad, but I wanted to show you this footage of it actually going through the water and white stands out much more. So that's why I'm using white right now. But it, it like I said, it very much imitates a crawdad. It'll shoot along, it'll stop. Usually it stops with its claws. When this stops, the skirt sits, it opens up. And it, it's, to me, it's a very good variation of how to use the chatterbait. Because, like I said, it was, it was developed to be an advanced swim jig. And most people use it through the water column. But combining the two, putting it on the bottom and giving it this erratic action when it's in the column and then putting it back on the bottom, to me, seems like something that is pretty much more attractive and a better combination for how this lure was developed. Let's give it a try. Rip stopping a chatterbait. Till next time. I hope this helps. That was terrific! Great! Yeah! Best fit! Fantastic! Yeah, it's really great! Really pisky, yeah! <laughs>